Okay, it is 528, 2024. It's Tuesday, so today we're going to be doing Woozy Tuesday, turning to the Woozy. Uh, we're in chapter 4, choosing generals, uh, and we're going to do verse 4 and 5 since they're both relatively short. Verse 4, Marcus Wu asked, Imagine the enemy attacks my forces at close range. I have no means of escape and my troops are filled with fear. What should I do? Wuki replied, If I had the larger force, I would split my troops and attack from different directions. In the reverse situation, I would concentrate my troops and attack repeatedly. Faced with such an unremitting onslaught, even an enemy that outnumbers you can be defeated. In verse 5, Marcus Wu asked, Imagine the enemy surprises my army in a ravine. There are steep hills on either side, and the enemy outnumbers me. What should I do? Wu Qi replied, Never tarry in the following places. Hilly areas, forests and valleys, deep in the mountains or in a large swampy areas. Get out as soon as possible. If you are attacked by an enemy in a ravine, drum up a great sound and engage the enemy head on. Send your bowmen and crossbowmen to the front and keep them ready while you consider the next step. Probe the enemy's position and at the first sign of disorder, attack. Okay. So as we reflect on those verses, splitting into two or being in the reverse situation, and then what areas are we tallying in? What areas in our life are we tallying in? Let's go over now to How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. We're on chapter five of part two, How to Interest People. It looks like he talks about Roosevelt in this chapter. All right, and then just a couple of pages later, we come to principle five. Talk in terms of the other person's interests. And that is how, how to interest people. Talk about their interests. All right, <clears throat> and so by talking about their interest, right, this is like probing the enemy that Marcus Wu in the Wu Zi just now mentions. Talking about their interests, if you're in a precarious situation and maybe you were approached or you find yourself at a certain time in your life and you're not on sure footing you really need to find out those people who come to you are they there to help you or to take advantage of you and what is the you know what is their interest and this is why we have to do this thing that that they're talking about in the woozy as far as probing the enemy and it doesn't mean an enemy is like they're your direct enemy they may just be your counterpart right they may just be somebody who is a colleague or a coworker or an employee or a supervisor and taking all of these things into account as we move through recognizing right what ground we're on where we stand this should be important taking interest in other people to find what we need to do and how to react just like he says, sending your crossbowmen and your archers to the front while you ponder your next move.